All right. Hey, YouTube. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. How's it going, everybody? Um, I'm taking advantage of my little guy having a nap, and I'm going to give myself a pedicure because I very rarely get time to do my own feet, like give them a good scrub and clean. So I'm going to, I'm just going to attempt to film and uh, hope the shadowing and lighting is uh, okay for you guys. I'm going to try and do my best here. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to speed everything up. I will show you guys on camera and I'll do a voiceover for this so it's not too boring or too long for you. So I'm going to get started. So here I'm using All Persan Pro Foot Care, the foot bath concentrate and soaking my feet for five minutes. Um, I'm also going to mention, you guys might notice my legs are unshaven and I'm a medical pedicurist. So when it comes to doing pedicures, I always advise ladies not to um, shave or wax 24 hours before um, any type of pedicure because rubbing up the legs when you're using things like exfoliating foot scrubs and that, when you're rubbing up the legs, when these pores are freshly shaven and you give that good scrub, you can actually clog the pores and cause redness around the ankle areas. So my unshaven legs, my Italian hair legs are going to be in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gloving up to start at the... After soaking my feet for about two and a half minutes, I do my uh, foot scrub and it is Orly Rich Renewal Exfoliating Foot Scrub and the smell is Leche and Pomegranates and I love this smell. It's one of my favorites and I also ha uh, will be pairing it with the, uh, the same uh, hydrating cream that goes with it. So I'm just giving my foot a scrub there and uh, you'll see that I everything that I touch um, I set aside just like the uh, the tube of scrub there because I like to clean and sanitize everything before I put it back in my caddy for the next client or whomever I'm using it on just rinsing away the the greediness now I so I take off those gloves I just finished the rest of my foot soak just drying them off Drying off my feet. This is a very rare thing I get to do to my own feet. So I think it's been like eight or nine months since I've been able to do my own pedicure. So I'm putting on a fresh pair of gloves now. And I'm going in with the Alpersan Pro Foot Care Callus Softener. And this also uh, softens um, any like cuticle skin or extra yucky skin uh, around the toes. So I give it a few minutes there. Grabbing some lint-free pads, and here I'm using a double-sided scoop to um, scoop off any dead cuticle uh, around the um, the sidewalls and the cuticle area. I apologize about being off camera there. I'm still trying to figure out my angles there. The uh, the other foot is a lot better on camera, and I'm also um, digging any dirt from under the free edge as well. Just kind of trying to show you some of the, the good stuff there, but it wasn't quite focusing. But sometimes uh, this cuticle softener is really great. It, um, sometimes when you get a good scrape, you literally can take off the entire uh, cuticle, overgrown cuticle in like one swoop and it's extremely satisfying there so I'm just again just cleaning around the around the outside bits I do still have some old polish still on my toes you'll probably notice it there getting all the good stuff out and uh, each foot I, I do uh, like its own uh, pad for wiping the scoop off. So now I'm switching to my Dremel and I'm using a Skyver bit, this is called. It's also known as a cuticle bit. It's just a fine diamond bit that goes around and cleans up any uh, excess 
overgrown uh, cuticle by the matrix and the sidewalls. It's kind of like, kind of like what the Russians do. Uh, they get that really good, satisfying clean around the outside, and this is the same kind of deal. So just going around the outside, all ten toes, getting rid of all that yucky extra dead non-living tissue from around my toes. And we're just going. Like I said, my, my left foot's terrible. My hand keeps covering it, so my my right foot here is much, much easier. You can see. And now normally I would do this uh, over top of some ventilation, but having the ventilation and the camera going is a little bit of a difficult setup, so I'm just relying on uh, everything falling onto the towel beneath my feet there so that I can clean up properly. I'm just finishing up there, getting rid of anything extra that I see. And I'm switching my bits now. This is a fine diamond buffer bit and I go over top of the nail plate with this and it smooths out any uh, imperfections and buffs the top, gets off any excess uh, skin that we might have missed with the stiver and uh, maybe any leftover small tiny bits of gel or uh, polish that you may have missed and it just kind of gives it a nice clean healthy flat surface. Over. And I also go a little bit on an angle uh, near the free edge there to um, taper downward so that uh, toenails don't get caught on anything. Like this one was getting pretty long so I've got a little bit of a snag on the corner. Which is why I knew I needed this to, I needed it to be done. There was my snag there. Kept catching on the sheets and on my socks and things like that. So, yes. Now I'm switching out that bit. This is a punctured diamond bit. This is for the bottom of the foot. It helps score up any uh, any dead skin. And this is a coarse cross-cut diamond file. And I am just filing my free edges uh, straight. And I don't really do my side walls. I just kind of go straight across. It's easiest for me this way to maintain my own because, like I said, I. I don't get to do this very often for myself, so I'm trying to do as fast as I can. Now this one, um, sorry, the other big toe there, I will be rebuilding that in another, uh, in the second half of this video. So you guys will see that because my, my nails aren't the same length as I caught it on the sock and uh, it got tore, so we're going to be doing that. So, I'm so happy to, to file this little snag and then I'm just filing downwards to taper that edge down again so that nothing gets caught on anything. Sorry I'm off camera there. Just getting a good look. So hard to get your feet up to your face sometimes. Alright so I'm spraying again across all ten. I'm kind of struggling with the little pump there. It always acts weird when you when you hold it downward like that. So I'm just wiping each individual toe checking everything, making sure everything's good, and then I open up my uh, lint-free pad and I go between the toes as well. And this is a, I'm trying to get it to focus, this is a ingrown toe file slash sidewall file. I use this on my big toes and you can't see on this one here. But um, I use it to get any extra gunk or anything off my side walls, like so. And I uh, file down the sides straight on my big toes so I don't have reoccurring uh, ingrown toenails. I do tend to get a lot of gunk in the sides of my toes, don't know why. And this one here. So when I scored that one side there, this is a great example, right there I kind of nicked myself a little bit underneath my toe. So when blood occurs, um, so I'm just uh, 
and it's, it's a little bit I'm just uh, wiping and cleaning everything before I go to the next step. So when blood occurs, like under the nail there, I take this antiseptic solution, especially for diabetics when I'm doing diabetic uh, medical pedicures. Uh, it helps clean and sanitize the area as well as um, prevent infection. It's a lovely little bit. Now I'm taking my little puncture diamond bit there. And I always get these little snags on my one big toe. Of, it's like ever since I was a kid. I get these fuzzy furry snags. And they don't identify as any kind of fungus to me or anything that I've learned. It's just kind of like catches. Mm. So I file them down first with my little puncture bit and I just score my heels where it's dry to help flake that up for the foot file. And then I switch out my punctured bit to a rubber bit. And I go back over my little spurs. I make them really wet because I want the skin to go down onto the towel and not up into the air. I just pat it dry but it's still moist. And I use the rubber bit and I go with the grain of my toe. I know I'm off camera here, but I go with the grain to kind of get lots of that out of there. And it just rubs the skin off really nicely. I do this in a few steps to get it to where I'm pretty satisfied to where I'm not picking up the carpet like Velcro. So I switch that out. Now I go to my angel foot file. There is a coarse and a fine side. I always start coarse first, fine second. So I spray the feet again. I go through a lot of this callus softener and then I use the coarse bit, or sorry, coarse side and I file where I've got like, you know, dry skin or anything like that. And then I switch to the fine side and I buff the skin really well. Spraying again. So just getting rid of the skin and then buffing, making the feet nice and smooth underneath. So you can't see, but again, I, so I was uh, spraying the bottom of both feet and then I give them all, like I give it a, a spray and then a good wipe over. And then I'm just double checking my toe here and I didn't like the way it turned out. So I'm taking my uh, cuticle nippers and I am just trimming off any extra skin. And then I go back again with the fine part of my file and I pull down and kind of smooth it out to where I'm happy with it. And then not that one. Um, I use the foot care foam number three for very dry feet and I pair it with the lychee and pomegranate hydrating cream. So I always go with my lotion first on the bottom of my feet in the dry spot. And then I do a nice dollop of foam and I give it a good rub in up the ankles, all over the ball of the feet, between the toes, just making sure everything gets in there. And this foam just makes feet feel so good when you're done with it. Oh, it's, it's one of my favorite things. I need to do this to myself more often. I did the, the one foam that I touched there. I did pull that out at the end and uh, put it with the rest to all be clean because I realized that I touched one and then a second one and forgot to take them out. But it all gets cleaned, I promise. So that is how I do my own pedicure. And I am now going to finish my my toes so I guess I will make this a uh, part one and two because I don't want this video to go on too long for you guys so I'll see you guys in part two where I rebuild the big toe and do a nail polish design with you so I hope you guys stay tuned stay jazzy see you in part two